All right, welcome back. Uh, McKenna did a great job. Another great weather rookie here. And look at that, we're starting to clear out a little bit. 71 degrees in the capital, 71 in Great Falls. A little more of a southwest wind gusting up to 25 miles per hour. Look at some of these cool temperatures. The western part of the state, 59 in Dillon. Yeah, it's a little warm, summery. Upper 80s, lower 90s out in the eastern part of the state. And we've got some wind out of the north, out of the west, out of the southwest here. Lighter wind around Missoula and Butte, America. Tomorrow will be a breezy day. I'm not going to call it a windy day. And then that's it for wind, which is good news because we've got heat that will be building here for both Thursday and then also Friday. A little bit of a, a light breeze generally out of the north here on Friday. But air quality alert, red flag warning, the pink there, red flag warning, and that color right there, that's an excessive heat watch. It is going to get hot again. A couple showers still out there, a few thunderstorms, even though we've got a little more blue around Helena, blue sky, that is. And Lincoln, of course, we've got that fire right about there. Look at that. Some nicer weather. I know they're worried about the wind uh, with uh, the system going through. Great Falls, look at this. A couple little showers and thunderstorms popping up off towards the southwest, crossing Highway 287. A couple more showers up there, closer to Columbia Falls, north central Montana. Just a few showers. I mean, nobody got two inches of rain here. That would be nice. Uh, but we do have, again, some fires. The Black Mountain Fire, 65 acres. Containment, we're waiting for an update on that, but the fact that it didn't grow since last night is good news, and we still have uh, evacuation orders uh, just to the north of Highway 200. Muir Creek Fire, 30 acres, no change on that one. No change on the Miller Peak Fire, southeast of Missoula. That's kind of been a 2,700-ish acres for about a week now. And the Y Fire on the other side of the Bitterroot Mountains here, 3,500 acres. That contributed a lot of smoke to our sky last Friday and uh, Saturday. The Diamond Fire down by Reed Point, 650 acres. So yeah, we still have some activity, but nothing like the big fires in Oregon and Northern California. And those will chug out some smoke over the next few days. Tomorrow, our little rain system is moving into Minnesota, and we've got sunny skies for tomorrow and for Thursday with heat increasing. Friday, a hot day here. Now getting into the weekend, a couple of isolated thunderstorms here on Saturday. And then there's a cold front that will come down south from Canada on Sunday. Look at the wet weather here. More clouds, more wet weather. Monday, Tuesday. This could be kind of a, a stretch of days where we've got cooler temperatures and some moisture around most of next week. Now the Wildfire smoke and big fires in Oregon and California, the worst of the smoke stays down there. Not to say that we won't go back up to orange, unhealthy for sensitive groups, but it's looking a little better than what it has been. So for the rest of this evening, we've got a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms still out there. It will dry out probably by the time we get to 10, 11 o'clock at night. Tomorrow that front pushes away. And again, back to July. Tomorrow is the final day of July. Thursday, August, and August doing August things. Upper 90s to near 100. Friday, look at the triple digit heat. And Saturday, also pretty hot. However, starting to cool back down. Look at the 90s. And that front will likely come through and drop us back down into the 80s as we get into next week with scattered showers and thunderstorms. So we dry out, it gets hot. Fortunately, we do not have a lot of wind with this heat coming through and then a wet, cooler stretch Sunday next week.